Oh, shit. Oh, come oh. get your apples. Every year at the fair, I fall victim to the same catchphrase. Sometimes mm -hmm. twice a year since there's the Spring Fair and the Puyallup Fair in September. All thoughts of the next ride that I want to go on cease to exist, and all I can think about is that nice, red, juicy, delicious apple. Instead, I go up to the stand, and I take a look, and all I can see are candy apples. So I look at the salesman, and I say, that's not the apple I wanted. He looks at me and says, well, we can slice it up for you, drizzle some caramel on there, and throw some nuts on top. Like I'm five. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> so let me tell you what kind of apple is on my mind. Not only at the fair, but any time that I want a sweet treat. It's known as a candy apple, and today I will tell you a little about the history. I'm going to tell you what you need to prepare the candy apples, and also how to prepare them. So first off is the history. According to the Newark Evening News Magazine, William W. Cobb, was a veteran Newark candy apple maker who produced his first batch of candy apples in da, 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 1908. Yes, we were not even thought of it. <laughs> his invention was not intentional for he was experimenting with red uh, cinnamon candy, covered the apples with the candy and only sat them in the windows for Christmas decor. Another source comes from the St. Petersburg News and they state that a common coating for apples today involves a little more than just cinnamon. They use sugar, corn syrup, water, cinnamon, and red food coloring. That's a diabetic coma waiting to happen, by the way. So on to the next thing, and that's what you will need to prepare some of the candy apples. You will need one cup of water. You will also need two and a half cups of sugar. You will need cooking spray, which I have right here, some aluminum foil, you need gloves for preparation and gloves, heat resistance gloves whenever you actually dip the can, can, uh, candy apples. You need a spoon, apples of course, a stick, a pot, some candy apple mix, which I call a secret ingredient because if you don't have it, then I don't know what you're going to be making. <laughs> and with those things, you will go on. Oh, also, um, just to let you know with the apples, you want them to be clean but not only clean, but you need to have them completely dry or either you're gonna have bubbly apples. And also they can have no wax on them, which if they're clean, they won't, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the next thing is that uh, when you're going to prepare the apples, you want to start by laying the amount of aluminum foil down that you'll need to cover the surface for the apples. So down here, that's just on our island table. We put a long thing down because we made all, uh, some apples for you guys. And then we sprayed it with the cooking spray. The thing is that you don't really need cooking spray, but just to have that extra safety to make sure that the apples don't stick, we put it down anyway. The next thing that you want to do is turn the stove onto high settings. You want to make sure that it's nice and red. And while it's waiting to get to the red zone, then you can go ahead and place your pot on there, of course, to get it hot. You're going to take your two and a half cups of sugar. You're going to pour it in the pot. So there's my dad measuring the one cup, at least, right there, <laughs> and then putting it in the pan, so that way you know what it looks like. For those of you that don't cook, you might not know. <laughs> then right here, we open up the candy apple mix, which you can get at Safeway, Walmart. Those are only two stores that I've seen that have these. You open that package up, and you pour that in there with the sugar. And there again, you see you're putting it in there. And then next, you go and you get your glass of water, and then you add it to the mixture. You don't even stir it, you just let it sit there together. And then you leave the stove and you go over to the apples. So this is whenever you take the apple and you take the sticks which are included in the apple kit. If your apples have a stem, you wanna go ahead and twist those off. You take the stick and you slide it into the apple. And with each apple you do that and then you set it onto your aluminum foil. And so there's, we, they are putting the sticks into the apples. There's four with the sticks in them right there. Then by the time you finish this preparation, usually your candy's ready. To make sure that your candy's ready, it needs to first come to a boil, which you can see here. Oh, oh you touched the screen. Oh, I forgot it was sensitive. Okay, that's no. okay. We'll go back. Backtrack. Pretend it didn't happen. Okay, <laughs> so you make sure that it's a, to a boil. Then right here, um, this is what you do. It's called the hard candy test. You can use a thermometer to make sure that it's at 300 degrees, but sometimes when it is, it's still not ready yet. 
And what happens is you take a scoop of the caramel, uh, I said caramel, candy apple mix, and you put it into the glass. If it goes all the way straight down to the bottom, yeah, you can use that. It doesn't, it doesn't, sorry, technical difficulties. It's not ready yet, as you can see. It will be gooey, and then whenever you bite the candy apple, it'll be like the caramel apple texture. It'll be really sticky and stick all over your teeth. And when you smile, it won't be cute. This is when you know it's ready. As you pour the uh, sauce into a, a cold cup of water, it will uh, become a solid. And it'll actually, it crystallizes as it's dropping down into the glass. And that's when you know the apples are ready to dip. So you get ready by putting those heat resistant gloves on if you don't want to burn yourselves. As you see my dad's doing it, he's scared for me to do it because he just knows me. And that, that's not great because <laughs> I will burn myself probably all over my arms and all over my hands. You take your candy apple here, as shown in the picture, he has the apple and you hold it and while the mix is in there, you kind of tilt it to the sides so that way you can dip the whole entire apple, okay? After you dip it, you let it drip a little bit, but you have to go fast, and then you pull it out, and then you stick it on top of the aluminum foil. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. You have those nice, red, delicious candy apples. I believe the black and white makes it look better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does. And so something you may need to know is that the box recommends that nobody under the age of 18 does this alone because due to the heat of 300 degrees with the uh, candy coating, and also, uh, if you have sensitive teeth, you might want to slice the apples after they're finished and ready for you to eat, so that way your teeth, the sensitivity doesn't affect mm -hmm. your enjoyment of the apple. So I've included you on some of the history on what you will need to make the apples, uh, how to prepare the candy, and what, and, um, and what you need to prepare them. And I will share some treats with you, Yay. so that way you can enjoy them and have them on your mind just <laughs> like I do. <Okay. laughs>